Hello there. Happy Sunday. Welcome to the 26th episode of the 3AM Knitter podcast. This is uh, the podcast's one year podiversary. Is that the right word? I'm not sure. Oh, I'm so happy that you're here joining in um, and here to celebrate my one year anniversary of just being on YouTube and enjoying sharing uh, my journey and my uh, knitting and crafting and learning more about you uh, as well. So thank you very much if you are a returning viewer. I really do appreciate you. And if this is your first time uh, tuning in, what a great episode to be tuning into because uh, later on in the episode, I'll be talking about some great giveaways that um, I have for you for uh, celebration of this one year milestone. So let's get right into it. Little intro. My name is Anne. I am the 3AM Knitter and I'm coming to you from Picto, Nova Scotia, which is on the north shore of the province. And today uh, we are having a wild snowstorm. Um, Already we've been out uh, 6.30 this morning, shoveling out at least a foot of snow that has drifted into our driveway. And I would imagine that um, after filming today, uh, I'll have to go back out again. So um, we're hoping that our lovely neighbors will help because they have bigger snow blowers than we do. Anyways, a um, little bit of housekeeping. Uh, if you um, are new here, you can find me on Instagram as the 3AM Knitter. My Gmail address is 3amknitter at gmail.com. Uh, snail mail address uh, for uh, sending anything uh, uh, via post is down below in the description box. Um, I have a new website, new website. Uh, so if you go to the 3amknitter.weebly.com, you will find the new website. Um, it is uh, still a work in progress, um, but it's getting there. So uh, I'll just give you a quick uh, wee preview of that, if I can find my page. So there we go. That's the new website. Um, there's a number of tabs here, a little bit about, about yours truly. Um, you can contact me there. And then there are different tabs for a variety of different things. There's a tab for the podcast, um, pattern store for those people who can't use Ravelry for uh, whatever reason. And then there are a couple other tabs for things that I'll talk about shortly. Um, you can also uh, find me on Ravelry if Ravelry is a, uh, something that you use. I have a, um, a 3 a.m. Netter group where, um, you know, we talk about all the goings on in 3 a.m. Knitterland. Uh, also, my personal profile is there as well as 3 a.m. Knitter. Uh, I have a newsletter. You can sign up for the newsletter that I send out around the first of the month. Um, and uh, I try not to inundate you with a whole bunch of email, but um, sometimes I do send an extra email or two out uh, if something exciting comes up uh, that I don't want to wait for the next newsletter to let you know about. Um, so there's a link down below where you can sign up for that. And what else do I have for you? Um, oh yes, okay, so the next knit night, next next public knit night for everybody uh, in the 3am Knitter Zoom room is on February the 21st, that's a Wednesday, at 7.30pm Atlantic. So I'm going to leave it to you to figure out your time change. I can give you one time change, which is Eastern Standard Time, and that would be 6.30 p.m. Eastern or 7.30 p.m. Atlantic. Okay, what's up next? So some of you may have already seen this. I did a short about it a couple of days ago, and it's been, I've had it all over my Facebook group and all over Instagram. I have uh, just launched on February the 1st, um, my new membership called The Circle. All right, what is The Circle? So I am going to um, just share with you a little bit about the write-up that I did um, on, on my new website. So The Circle is a monthly membership experience for lovers of knitters and seekers of community. Uh, it's not just a place to sit and purl. It's an invitation to become part of a community that transcends the boundaries of yarns and needles. 
When we gather in circle, it's not just about craft, it's about creating connections, sharing stories, and embracing the magic of togetherness. So my, my goal for this membership is that it's not just a knitting membership, it's not just a crocheting membership, it's not just a crafting membership where you come and we knit together. I want this to become, I want this to become a hub for creative people to come and be together. So it doesn't matter to me whether you can't knit, but you crochet or you knit and you don't crochet or you cross stitch or you weave, or I don't, I don't really care what your um, preferred craft is. What I am hoping this to be is a community of crafters who come together and will build relationship. We will learn from each other. We will um, be there for each other in the circle. So the exciting thing right now is that for the month of February, so up until February 29th, because this is a leap year, I am offering the circle membership at founding members pricing. So what does that mean? Founding members pricing is uh, available for the month of February. If you sign up under founders member pricing, your pricing will never change. So March 1st, the price goes up, um, but your pricing will stay the same. So if you choose to sign up on a month to month basis, the cost in founding members pricing is $10 per month. That will never change if you sign up before the 29th. If you wanna jump in with both feet, like a number of people have already done, which I'm so excited about, um, you can get an annual membership, which for founding members is $100, which means you get two months for free. Again, if you sign up as a founding member, that price will never change. So when it comes time for renewal in 12 months, you'll still get your renewal at $100 per year. Whereas once the 29th comes and goes and we're into March, the pricing is going to go up. It's not going to go up a lot, but it's going to go up. So the monthly cost for people outside of the founding members is going to be $20 per month, etc. So you get the idea. So if, if this is something that interests you, I want you to pop over to my new website. I want you to click on the membership tab and that's going to take you to the page that um, tells you all about the membership here. And then there are a couple, um, there are a couple of links. I hit the wrong button, there we go. There's a couple of links at the bottom here where you can choose your membership level, whether it's your monthly uh, membership for $10 per month, or you wanna take advantage of the two months for free and get the annual membership for $100. Now, Using these links, you can use your credit card to pay. If you do not wish to use a credit card, but you would rather do an e-transfer, just email me and my email address is down below and we will make arrangements for that. It's your choice. So I'm really, really looking forward to building this community. I launched it on February the 1st and already there are members who have chosen the annual membership, which makes me so thankful and so happy. I'm just so full of gratitude about this. So what's gonna happen in a membership? So every Monday, I am offering a service called the Knitting Concierge Service. Now this is for members of the circle only. Um, so what is the Knitting Concierge Service? So this is kind of like office hours where on Monday evenings from seven until 8 p.m. Atlantic, I am available to members of the circle to help them with any um, pattern problems, knitting issues, they can't figure out what yarn to choose, anything that has to do with your projects, you can fill out the Google form. Members get a link to the Google form. You can RSVP your time and I'm available on Monday evenings to help you through those issues. We, um, 
there's a few questions that you have to answer in advance on the Google form and then we either jump on the phone or we jump into the 3 a.m. Knitter Zoom room and we go over the, the issue and see if we can solve it. So that is available for free within the membership. On Tuesdays, we have a members only knit night. So once a month, I have a public knit night, but in the circle, we have a knit night every week and that's on Tuesday evenings from 7.30 p.m. till 9 p.m. Atlantic time. Twice a year, um, members of the circle will receive a, a new 3 a.m. knitter pattern release that is just for members of the circle. Uh, so these will be uh, patterns such as uh, sock patterns or accessories or things like that. Um, but they will never be released to the public. They will only be released to members of the circle. Um, I am also going to be offering a members only podcast episode once a month. So there will be a um, an episode released closer to the end of the month each month only for members of the circle. Also, something that you'll find when you take some time to peruse the new website, um, I am also launching the 2024 East Coast Sock Club. So <clears throat> that is launching on February the 29th. So what is the East Coast Sock Club? So this is for members and for everybody else as well. Members of the circle get this for 50% off though, if they choose to participate. So what is the East Coast Saw Club? So this year, um, I am going to be releasing four patterns uh, within the Sock Club. Um, a pattern in March called the Atlantic Breeze Socks, in June called Maple Harbor Socks, September Lighthouse Lace Socks, and December Frosty Wharf Socks. Um, it will, sorry, I just lost my train of thought there. Uh, so the four patterns will come out. Um, and the idea of the sock club is you purchase the sock club in advance, the four patterns will be released, and uh, then you get access to them. Now, um, I haven't opened up the early bird uh, registration for this yet but I will shortly and members of the circle get 50% off of that. What they also get if you're in the circle is I'll be hosting cast on parties for each one of those pattern releases. Um, so members of the circle will have uh, an, uh, an open invitation for that. So um, I'm looking forward to getting things rolling. Um, we start with um, knitting concierge on Monday. Uh, so um, it's going to be lots of fun. So if, if you are interested in joining us in the circle, um, there's a link down below to take you over to the registration page to read more about it. Um, if you have any questions about it, drop me an email, send me a note on Instagram. I'll be happy to chat with you about it, but I'm really hoping that this is something that uh, feeds our creative souls. And um, I think that it will be such a beautiful group of people that comes together to create to create this kind of sisterhood and brotherhood of crafters. So I'm looking forward to that. Very excited to see that grow. Okay, what am I wearing? I'm not going to tell you about this sweater because although it looks like it's hand knit, yeah, it's not. It's a store-bought sweater. Um, and you know, it's great, but um, I didn't knit it, so can't count. So today, um, I don't know if you can see this, I'm wearing this little cowl, little lacy cowl here. Oh, look at this, there we go. So this is the Fir Tree Cowl by Marley Bird. Um, it's actually quite large. I have it tucked in at the back, but it's large enough that you can kind of wear it up over your head like this, if you like. So if you get stuck out in the cold and the snow like it is today, it's a handy dandy thing to have. Um, I made, the, or I knit this in 2013 for Rhinebeck. Um, let me see. Fir Trees Cowl, Marley Bird. It's no longer available, unfortunately, the pattern. It's been discontinued. Um, 
So I'm not going to tell you too much about the pattern because that just doesn't make sense. However, I did knit this out of Bijou Spun by Bijou Basin Ranch. I used half a skein, um, about a 199 meters or 217 and a half yards, 25 grams. I bought this. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I called this my Rhinebeck 2013 cowl, but I got the yarn in Rhinebeck or at Rhinebeck at in 2012. So there it is. Anyway, the Bijou Spun by Bijou Basin is also discontinued. Um, lace weight and 95% Angora and 5% manufactured fibers lace weight, perfect for variety of patterns. So it's discontinued. I think if you were really interested in Bijou Basin, you could jump on their site and they have comparable yarns, um, but it's incredibly light and it's incredibly soft and it's incredibly warm. So um, yeah, so that's what I'm wearing today. Okay. Uh, I do have a project page about it that I will link uh, in the show notes down below. Okay, did we go to Brineback two years in a row? Huh, I have to chat with my, my Rhinebeck bestie, Lyanne, um, because my notes here say that I bought the yarn in 2012, but then my notes here say August 31st, 2013, cast on another treasure for this year's Rhinebeck. The Angora is so beautiful. I have another in gray. Um, I'll definitely be visiting the Bijou Basin booth again this year. Hmm. Okay. So anyway, uh, it took me a couple of days to knit. It looks like I cast it on August 31st, 2013, and I completed it September the 2nd. So yeah, really simple knit. But there's lots of cowl patterns out there that you can find that, that are... Um, that would be, uh, you know, easy peasy for that super special skein of yarn. It's very, very nice. All right, works in progress. My diaphanous sweater that I talked about last episode, I didn't do anything on it. Not a thing. So I'm not even going to, it's actually still sitting here on the floor uh, where I left it after the last episode. <laughs> so it's kind of, uh, it's in a timeout, um, but I will get back to it. Um, all right, I talked about my 2024 sock, sorry, sock project. Um, I did complete, as you know, January socks, and I have cast on for my February project. Um, I haven't gotten very, very far, um, but these are the, um, let me get my cable needle out of there. These are the granola socks by Tin Can Knits. I'm going to show you the back so you, this, I don't have to deal with the stitch marker. So you can see uh, I've just actually started the second repeat. Um, like, yeah, just two rows into it's a 16 row repeat. Um, I'm on row two of the second repeat. There's a really amazing cable. At, I don't know if you can see that there. See that cable right at the sides on both sides of the sock? Yeah. So, um, 2024 socks from Stash. Uh, granola, as I said, tin can knits. Now, this pattern um, calls for sport. I'm not doing it in sport. Um, but... You know, they'll be house socks, I guess. Uh, early mornings after late night. I'm not going to read that. Um, let's see. US 2.75 2, 2 millimeter and US 3 or 3.25 millimeter needles. I'm obviously doing Magic Loop uh, because that is my preferred. When I did the ribbing, I tried... For the first time, a um, nine inch. This is a Addy Turbo that I've had in my um, 
needle binder for a long, long time, and I've just never tried it. So I tried it for the ribbing. Now, truth be told, um, did I hate it? No. Would I prefer Magic Loop or DPNs? Yes. Um, but I think I will keep this needle because I'm going to try and use it again. And maybe it's just that I haven't, I haven't used the small needle. I just, I found it cumbersome in my hands. I don't know. It's just not the technique for me. So anyway, sock number one of my February, um, socks, I am using songbird fibers. I've talked about songbird fibers before. They're an Ontario dyer. This is, and they're from Stratford, Ontario. Um, this is the 8020 superwash that I'm using. Um, and I'm using the gray colorway. It's fingering weight, of course. It comes in a skein of 390 meters or 427 yards. Um, here's a picture of, whoops, some of their colorways. They're based off of birds, most of the colorways. I, I knit the um, Curious Handmade Helen Stewart um, picnic basket socks out of that colorway right there. Um, so I've talked about uh, songbird fibers quite a few times, but um, if you're looking for interesting colorways based on the colors of birds, um, I will link her uh, website down below and you can check her out. So um, I've started a thread in the Ravelry group about um, this 12 pairs of socks this year um, where people are posting their plans, uh, what patterns they're going to knit. And remember, the, the only rule that I made was that I had to already own the pattern. I wasn't buying any more sock patterns. Um, and knit from stash. So I've had all, you know, I've had that in my stash for quite some time. Um, there are a couple of hashtags. If you want to post about your progress uh, on Ravelry, you can use hashtag uh, 12 pairs in 12 months uh, or hashtag 2024 socks from stash. Um, so there has been a, a quite a few really nice socks and I'm, I'm looking at some of them thinking, darn it, I don't have that um, I don't have that pattern in my, my pattern stash or my pattern library. So, um, maybe next year, but, um, there's some great socks being knit. So check out the Ravelry thread for sure. Um, and participate on Instagram if you want, um, and use the hashtags. So, yeah, so that is right now, believe it or not, the only thing I have, um, that I'm working on because as I said, the diaphanous, um, sweater is in timeout. So. All right, other works in progress that I have are not knitting, but they are um, cross-stitch. I've talked about these before, and of course I left them over there. Uh, so I talked about the Steady Stitch and the Peppermint Purple cross-stitch. Those are the weekly, um, weekly, weekly pattern releases. So you do the border. So I, I'm up to date on those, but I did finally get my supplies for my big 2024 project. I don't know who I'm trying to kid that this is going to be done in 2024, but you know, there it is. So, um, while I'm working on, whoops, no, I want to go to files. Sorry. While I'm working on, um, those weekly ones, which are nice, I can whip them up during a conference call if I've got my headset on. Um, you may recall that I am also stitching the Tree of Four Seasons by Josephine Wall, this beauty. Um, I am knitting that, or knitting, excuse me, stitching this on... I want to say 18 count. Um, so it's going to be ginormous. Ginormous. Yeah, I am stitching it on 18 count. There are... Um, I don't even know how many colors 
like five page, four pages of colors. But I just wanted to give you an idea. Um, I started on it and so I have that much done right there. Um, that's about, I don't know, 2,000 stitches, maybe 1,000 stitches. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Hang on. Let me see if I can open up my pattern thingy, pattern keeper thingy. Markup, it's called. Um, so I started on January the 21st. Today. And I have stitched 1,325 stitches, which is 0.4% complete. <laughs> um, I spent 12 hours on that. So uh, this little program that I have um, gives you all your stats as you um, work through the pattern. So I'll just hold it back here. So you can see where there's no symbol. Um, basically what that means is I've stitched those. So it, uh, it's, it's quite a cool pattern. There's, because I use Apple, like this is iPad. So um, there is something called, I think it's called Pattern Keeper. Um, but it, it's not made for, for Apple products. It's only made for um, Android. So this, this, um, this app is called Markup um, and it is working wonderfully. So, so yeah, that is, um, yeah, that's going to, that's going to take me a while. Uh, yeah, 12 hours and I got that much done. So anyway, I'll keep you up to date on that as time goes on. All right, finished objects. So I have to be very ginger with these because they're still wet. I just pulled them off blocking for you. So I finished my kinship cowl. This is a pattern by Tracy Miller of the Grocery Girls, the lovely Grocery Girls. Um, this is still wet. So um, obviously I used two colors of yarn. So this is Frankie Gray Fibers DK um, in the Midnight colorway and Ochre. I think it's Ochre. Um, yes, Ochre. So um, I cast this on on the 20th. I finished it up on the 28th. And I didn't block it because I immediately cast on the hat. Now, this is still really wet and I still have a pom-pom, obviously, that I'm gonna add at the top. Um, again, so the matching um, hat and cowl. And I have Let's see, I pulled this out just so I could tell you how much I have left. So, um, let's see, midnight. Oops. Oh, why is that? I want to zero that out. 17. 224 meters. Or how many, how many grams? Bear with me, sorry. Um, um, 100 grams, 17, so 83, uh, 83 grams of the midnight left over. And 41, so 59, 59, 40 run grams of the ochre leftover, so it's 59 grams. So I got the cowl and what I'm trying to say is I got the cowl and I got the hat out of um, one skein of each and I've got tons left over to make a pair of mittens or, you know, fingerless mitts or something like that. So um, what I have left, you'll remember that that came in a set of four. So I have these blues left over that I haven't used yet. So I'm just trying to think about a pattern that um, 
I can use these in. Not quite sure what yet, but um, I will think of something, I'm quite certain. So I got those two items finished, which was great. Both patterns by Tracy Miller. Um, and then I have decided uh, because the uh, diaphanous sweater is in timeout that I am going to cast on the Trifon or Trifane sweater. I'm using um, Estelle Eco Scandinavian Bulky. Um, I got this at my LYS, Natural You Yarns. This is 100% organic Scandinavian wool, 120 meters um, to 200 grams. So um, you will, I'm quite certain, recall that the Trifan sweater is a super bulky um, beauty of a sweater. So it is just stockinette with some amazing garter. Um, you can't really see the dark colors. Oh yeah, maybe you can if I hold it a bit closer. There you go. So um, I'm gonna block the color. Uh, I have two um, two skeins of the, the natural that I just showed you and whoops, one skein of this green and one skein of the brown. So I'm going to block the color somehow. I haven't decided how yet, um, but I think it's going to be a fun, fun sweater to wear. Be one of those great wear around the house or those, you know, those really cold fall mornings. Yeah, it'd be a great sweater for that. So that will be casted on probably tomorrow. Um, if the snow keeps up, we won't be doing much. So yeah. Okay. Um, so that's what's coming up on my needles. So 2024 East Coast Sock Club, I already talked about a little earlier. Uh, the early bird opens on February the 29th. I'm really using this leap year as a uh, jumping off and ending off point for a lot of things. So watch for more information on that. Re you will recall that it in will include four patterns and for members of the circle membership, it will also include cast on parties. Uh, so uh, take a, you know, take note of that and pop on over to the website and you can read more about each of the patterns there and um, you can kind of bookmark that for uh, when it's time to sign up. Okay, things that I love. So when I put it out there that this was my one year potiversary, uh, if you will, um, I talked to some wonderful uh, makers and podcasters and um, I have a few gifts that I am going to uh, offer to some of you viewers. Um, and the first one is by the lovely Nancy Wheeler, who is uh, the host of the um, Knit Sip Happy podcast. So she has just released this sock pattern called, now I'm going to butcher this, I even listened to it, the Nord, la la la, la I, I, I don't know how to say it, sock pattern. Anyway, look at these. I mean, aside from that, absolutely gorgeous blue. Um, beautiful socks, with some cable in there. So, so nice. So um, Nancy has generous, generously donated a pattern um, to one of the 3AM Knitter podcast viewers. Um, so that is, uh, a gift that I would like you to make a comment about if you were, if you were to win this pattern, what yarn would you use? What color of yarn would you use? And let us, let us know all about that. And then I will randomly select somebody from the comments. So what I need you to make sure that you put in your comments is sock pattern somewhere in your, um, in your comment. 
So that is a beautiful gift from the lovely Nancy Wheeler. Thank you, Nancy, for donating that pattern uh, as a gift for uh, one of my viewers. All right. You also know that um, one of my favorite, favorite uh, Nova Scotia makers um, is Mabel and Rose. Um, I've worn a necklace that um, I purchased from them or from her uh, before, and uh, she has some amazing. Let me see, did I close the darn thing? I did. Oh, sorry. Um, so I'm also going to be giving away a gift certificate to the Mabel and Rose Etsy shop. So I'm going to put a link in uh, the show notes down below. And what I'd like you to do is go to the Mabel and Rose Etsy shop and take a look at what she has in her shop and tell me what you would love to have in your uh, jewelry collection or knitting collection uh, were you to be the winner of um, this giveaway that we're doing. Hang on just one sec. Let me just bring up her page. Mabel, there you are. Okay, so beautiful necklaces. Oh, they're just so beautiful. Um, she has some st stitch markers in there. And, oh, that's a picture of her actually making the stitch markers, which is kind of cool, actually. If you check out her Instagram feed, there's one of her necklaces. Oh, they're so pretty. So go to um, go to her link, uh, her Etsy shop, or even, you know, I, I can't, actually, I guess it's best to go to her Etsy shop because that's what she currently has in stock for sale. And take a look at all of the beautiful things there and make a comment um, down below about what you would love to add to your collection. And um, I will be... Um, getting a gift certificate available for that as well. And then of course, my LYS Natural U Yarns, I have a $25 gift certificate uh, for them. So please go and visit Natural U Yarns. Um, go take a look at their shop. If you're not here in Pictou or in the Pictou County area, um, if you are, I want you to come and visit them. Uh, but um, take a look at the website and um, see all the beautiful things there. They've just released some colorways that are very exciting uh, for you to take a look at. And again, let me know what your favorite thing is on the Natural You Yarn site. And there is a gift certificate up for grabs uh, for that. So I will be announcing um, um, all about that uh, on the next episode. So I hope that you will participate in that because it's going to be great fun. All right, what's next? Okay, Knitter's Oracle, and there they are. Let's see, what are we going to pull up today? Oops, just dropped the little booklet down. So we'll give a little shuffle. I always split the deck in half and then take my card. Oh. So today's card, bear with me, I dropped the little thing. Today's card is the Ram. Let's see what the Ram has to say. Masculine energy, patriarchy, strength, Power, dominance, status, leadership. The ram. Hmm. Patriarchy, strength, power, dominance, status, leadership. Wow. That's interesting. 
I know I certainly needed strength this morning when I was shoveling the snow. Um, I'm going to leave this one with you. Tell me what you think. The Ram. Masculine energy, patriarchy, strength, power, dominance, status, leadership. I need to I need to ponder that for a while. The ram. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Things you need to know. Um, let's see. The next episode, um, the next regular episode is February the 18th. Um, I hope that you will tune in to find out um, about the gift certificates and uh, the patterns. Um, and the uh, membership episodes, so the members of the circle will have their special episode uh, on the 25th. And uh, instructions will be sent um, through to all members on how to access that particular episode because it will not be in the um, regular feed as this episode is. All right, I think I've covered everything for today. It does look like it. All right. Okay, friends. So thank you so much for uh, being here with me today and following along. Thank you for all your wonderful comments all the time and all the love. Um, thank you for supporting the podcast over the last year. Um, this has been uh, so much fun for me and uh, I hope so much fun for you as well. So take good care and keep knitting. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye for now.